Welcome back to Thai Kicks for another video. And we're gonna be talking a little bit about the masks that I've reviewed in recent times. It's difficult at the moment with the way that COVID is right now that we really, really do need to think about ourselves and others. Now, I'm not here to preach to anyone what they should or shouldn't do. I'm just here to give you my personal feeling about two particular masks as you all know from the title. This is gonna be looking at a comparison between the U mask from U Earth and the Under Armour sports mask. And what are the pros and what are the cons between the two really briefly. Now, if you wanna see other information about either of these two masks, there'll be information in the description down below with links to my previous videos. Also above is the review of the Under Armour sports mask and it's more of a preview than a review but there are some other videos going over the most asked questions. Also above you'll see the review of the U mask by U Earth. With that said, let's get into it. It's been a couple of months since I did the Under Armour first look video and then the follow up video with the most asked questions. And I've had a lot of wear out of that particular mask and really enjoyed wearing that particular mask. One of its downfalls was its sizing. A lot of people didn't really know how to size it correctly, whether it be from my sizing guide, which was originally from Under Armour's own sizing instructions. Since then, they've changed their sizing description and I would definitely recommend you going over and checking what they are saying about that. One of the things that it doesn't do, which is a shame, is it doesn't have any kind of filtration system. It doesn't have any filter built inside it, and it is predominantly made for sportswear. It will wick moisture away from your face, and it will also keep the actual main internal part of the material off your lips. So that's really appealing to some people. It also has a moldable area that runs across the bridge of your nose and across your cheekbones, which is fantastic and fits really nice and snug under your chin. Now its downfall is with the ear loop material. Some people feel it's too loose. Some people feel it's not very strong and it comes out of shape very quickly. I found it did do that a little bit. And even when it's been washed and reused, it starts to just, give up a little bit. Not to the point where it's unwearable, but for some people, they find it very difficult to wear it when it's loose. So my suggestions are really that you can either tie them, which is not ideal, or you can buy small little plastic, sort of, they're like fasteners that you would get on a, a drawstring bag. You can buy those for masks, which is pretty handy. Or you can buy a little extra sort of attachment that will allow you to pull it round the back of your head and keep it secure, taking some of that pressure off your ears. And then over to the U mask. So U Earth created U mask, which is really recognizable for a lot of Formula One teams wearing their particular mask. It's really, really good in terms of its levels of protection and it has an inbuilt removable and replaceable filter and it has an external part to the mask that the filter fits into that is washable. The one good thing about the U mask is it has that filter that is continuously being able to be used without any kind of need to clean or change for up to 200 hours. So it's a definite winner when it comes to protecting yourself and also protecting others. The only downside is it doesn't have that ability to mold over the bridge of your nose and over your cheekbones like the Under Armour mask does. It's actually the downside to that mask quite a lot because you can't wear glasses with them. They just leak air out through the top and your glasses can condensate. I think if they were ever to make a new version of the Model 2, which is this, I bought another one because I did like my original black one that much. I wanted to get another one. If they can create a U-Mask Model 3 that fits a little bit better under your chin and also has the ability to mold it over your nose, you've pretty much got the most protective mask that you could possibly buy. And it's pretty comfortable. It does sit off your mouth as well. 
So to give you a rundown comparison really quickly of my thoughts of these two particular masks. The U-Mask by U-Earth and the Under Armour Sports Mask. Under Armour Sports Mask first. So after months of wearing this and using it continuously, unfortunately to say the moldable element around the bridge of my nose has officially broken. It's now a little bit limp at the bridge. Now I can still mold it over my cheeks and over my nose. It's definitely snapped, which is a shame because I really enjoyed wearing this mask. Comfort wise and breathability wise, it was pretty good as well. And the fact it fit really well under my chin was amazing too. I definitely give this, if we're going to give it a rating, of probably about 7 out of 10. There's some room for improvements, but it's definitely better than any surgical mask and pretty much most of the cheap masks that are made out of like neoprene and stuff that you can possibly get. Now, you're going to pay a price for it, which is about £25, something like £26. Depends where you're from, but uh, yeah, it's not a cheap mask. But more colours have now come out, so they're more appealing. The U-Mask, its pros are very much in its ability to filter. Not only whatever is coming in, but whatever is being exhaled out. It's got a dual purpose of protecting you as best as it possibly can and has a higher rating than N95 masks. That says a lot. Replacement filters are quite expensive at £18 and the mask itself retails between £35 to £36. So be expecting a heavy price to pay for a U-mask. They've just opened up their own store in London, which is pretty amazing from a company that was pretty unheard of to a pretty big deal now. And it's all because of their innovations. My only improvements that I mentioned earlier on are what I feel need to happen to really make this company sort of blow up even more. I really do like this mask. This is currently my favourite mask and I am really, really happy to own one. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10 for two reasons. One, because the price point is incredibly high. But what is the price to pay for your own and others' safety? And the other reason why it hasn't quite got to 10 is those other reasons I mentioned earlier on. If you need any more information about either of these two masks, I'm always happy to help you guys out. Please drop your comments down below. And just to remind you guys, I've got a giveaway for one of these U masks by U Earth. You've got the opportunity to win one in your desired color. So if you wanna be in to win, don't forget to comment down in the description down below the words safety first to be in with a chance to win. You also have got to do two other things that are in the description down below. Remember, you need to do all three things. So comment safety first and then follow the other two instructions, which is to subscribe to Ty Kicks YouTube channel and to follow Ty underscore KIX on Instagram. Now, I really hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe and I will see you guys for another video really, really soon. Stay safe.